what's going on guys you see right here we are 21 and 0 in this current weekend league we're playing by reading the title you know what it says did we choke our 25 and 0 weekend league tune in find out watch the end of this gameplay I'm about to be post comment this it's a really good gameplay versus k harry a slot demon two tight end demon you know how that goes right here we are going to be receiving the ball first um, I have that Jets theme team. Sorry for all my Raiders fans out there, but hey, maybe maybe very soon, you know, we'll get another upgrade or two for the Raiders and I might switch back. In the next few gameplays, I'll probably end up showing you guys my team, what I'm rocking with, my abilities, all that good stuff. It's right here. K. Harry is going to start off in dollar. And no, this is not the full Ingram. And at this time also, we didn't have pits. But, um, you know, right here, we're going to try to hit a bomb first play. I threw it honestly kind of early, but hey, deep, you know, posts, that bunch trail posts, even in, you know, any formation, those deep posts, you could click on and add catch that with Keyshawn Johnson any day of the week. Slap on a deep out elite and you're going to be really glitching your opponent. That's right here. He's in man. We're going to look for this flood route late. And there it is once more. Plaxico Burris all the way down to the two yard line. Quick, easy drive. And at this time, guys, oh my God, this looks so foreign. Um, this is like a week or two. This was like two weekend leagues ago. It wasn't even that long ago. Um, the past week I was doing the tournament. I'll have videos on that later on. But um, man, we're still using Josh Allen at this time. That's kind of wild. It's right here. Easy peasy drive, three play drive. And that's how I wanted to be, man. I feel like I'm really good on offense right now. But, you know, for some of the higher upper guys, they know what to do in the red zone. And that could really frustrate you. Um, I know it frustrates me a lot. But yeah, like I was saying, Josh Allen is being used in this gameplay. That's kind of foreign, honestly. Uh, by now, there's two new QBs. Let me know if you want gameplay on that. I'm really good with those mobile QBs, um, whether it be Randall Cunningham, Boomer Esiason. I'm not too sure how to pronounce his last name. But um, yeah, I actually haven't used Boomer yet. I've only used Randall, and I'm in love with Randall. I only have 94 speed, unlike those 96 speed demons out there in Cowboys, Ravens, you know, Vikings team teams. But the good thing about Boomer is he was a Jet, so you get 85 uh, speed escape artist. I'll definitely have to give him a try just to see how it is. Uh, the only thing I don't like, obviously, as you guys could tell, is not having, um, you know, Gunslinger. Uh, I'm sure when there's escape Gunslinger, I'll definitely use him. But Pass Lead Elite, eh, you know, it's kind of mid if you ask me. I don't know how you guys feel about that. I definitely think it's mid, especially nowadays with all these... Um, you know, dollar defenses, two, four, five odd defenses. That's kind of my two cents. But right here, K. Harry is going to be rocking out with Kirk Cousins. No way we lose a 25 and 0 weekend league to Kirk Cousins, right? Like, that's just, I feel like that's forbidden. It's right here, once more, Totesville with Bo Jackson. Um, anytime you see a Raiders theme team, just be prepared for the tote. They got mad running backs, man. They got Roger Craig, they got Cordell Patterson, they got obviously 97 Bo Jackson. And I think he had Bo Nose at this time. It's right here. Crazy A got by Jack Youngblood. It's right here once more. Runs the ball, but we're ready for that. Cam Chancellor. And this is what I wasn't ready for. The no huddle out of this demonic set. Um, I feel like I was pretty good and wide. And right here, guess what? He runs the ball again. So, I mean, this guy was not trying to pass at all, no matter the circumstances. At least on this first drive. I'm not going to, like, say whatever because uh, it definitely affected the way i played a pass d is right here we do blitz get some nice pressure shitty ass user man i'm talking about a very shitty user great dot um i had a hook curl on that play but uh you know how hook curls do they do their own thing it's right here he's gonna run some crosser type plays and the in route clears my uh i think i had a three wreck on jason taylor and just another easy peasy dot um at this time honestly i think i was like two three hours deep in the stream I was a little tired because it was in, um, you know, I was just a little tired because I had stream earlier. I stayed up the night earlier. It was in the morning. And, um, you know, my energy isn't all the way there for, you know, trying to complete this 25 and 0. If I had a little better energy, then maybe, just maybe, you know, you could see some better plays being made. It's right here. Once more runs the ball. And I feel like I could dive tackle early right there, make the tackle. But here we go. Fourth and one again. No huddle. And I'm not going to blitz. No way I'm going to blitz and give up that run look that I just gave up a couple plays ago. We play man-to-man -man coverage. And uh, I don't even know what happened right there. I'm going to have to rewind that because I feel like Marcus May was keeping up with Jerry Cook all the way until the end. And, guys, I was right. Uh, excuse me for these, like, things. But look at this guy. Boom. Last second bump. 
I'm not going to say, you know, he was going to bag it, but man, oh man, that bump definitely hurts because uh, if we're doing calculations, 96 speed, Marcus May has pretty good man coverage uh, against Jared Cook. You see right there, boom, he hit a, against Derwin James, and he probably had a couple things open too. Post is like one of those plays that, you, like, I don't know why I was running man versus post because post is honestly like, it's probably the best man beating stock play alive, like ever. Obviously, with the right adjustments, you could definitely bag it out of man. But, you know, right then and there, I actually just had no, you know, good adjustments. It's right here. Once more passing and easy dot. Marcus May just right over him. I believe that was Ed Reed, actually. Um, next time I play K. Harry and we get in the red zone, I will make sure to put my hooks on 10 rather than 5 because, or just in general, he was clearing all my hooks with these in routes, these post routes. And look at that, man. You know you're playing a demon when they hit you with a 13 play four minute drive um sheesh i'm gonna put you guys on some free game it's right here nice route to curtis martin and this is also another player i do uh did replace i instead of curtis martin i now have bo jackson but you know stay tuned i have some crazy good game plays coming up um i played in this 1k tournament and then obviously the mcs tournament uh th those game plays you'll see my updated team i still had to get this gameplay because it was a crazy game it was a high stake game with that 25 and 0 on the line almost but I, like I said let me put you guys on some free game um, like a lot of people including myself have been running a lot of more man coverage and do what you want with that info man but in these gameplays coming up you know um, just in general you might be seeing on the twitch streams a lot of man coverage will be ran K Harry and myself actually ran quite a bit of man in this game so call it what you want you know maybe ahead of the curve whatever it may be um, man coverage was definitely ran in this gameplay video but right here man i'm just doing what anyone should do in this scenario is madden 22 you do not want your opponent to get a ball with some time before half we are basically just clocking this down um obviously do not want to take three by any means possible any means at all but it, you know if it is if it does come to that, down to that we will kick three basically we just don't want my opponent to get the ball at all is right here. Take a terrible sack. Josh Allen, you got to get that ball out, man. I actually had the option route. Missed the read. And like I said, uh, I was actually just like, I don't know. I wasn't on it completely in this game. It's right here. Once more, Curtis Martin. Not bad. We will take that. Jabril Peppers on a, I don't know what you call that route. We'll just call it an in route. But we all know that route is so OP, especially versus man. It's right here. We run a little bit of flood. And damn, he bags our flood. But thankfully, we have the backside option route open. Kind of mad that I missed the read for that long. But hey, we converted from that, you know, first down sack all the way to the seven now. We definitely need seven right here. It's right here. Uh, you know, flat route again. Not that many yards. And this is where it gets tricky, man. Can't take a sack. Can't get tackled in bounds. And we're on the six-yard line, so... Um, it, the windows are tight down here. He's been running a lot of man. Man is definitely really effective now. And we are just going to have to try to make a good read. Double wheel routes. Uh, and then there's really nothing there. We end up throwing this ball away. I could have possibly thrown it to R1 right there at the last second. But, you know, we live for another down. Let's see if we could convert something up right here, cook something up. We have the hotter routes on our side as well if you we peep that top momentum bar. But right here, here we go. Um... Do we have something? Yes, we do. We go back to the same play, different setup, different um, hash mark where we run it. We run it on the short side rather than the long side. And Evan Ingram, not the full one, by the way, the one before the full one, ends up getting it done for us, securing our, you know, lead going into half. So, guys, by the, you know, looks of this game, we are going to be getting ball last. Um, we're guaranteed to get the ball back, I should say. We don't know if it's, you know, going to be last possession or not. But right there, you see Bo Nose is now activated. So I definitely have to clamp up on the run. That's what my whole goal is right here. Um, once he got Bo's nose, I couldn't blitz him anymore. And once more, same thing in route again. Um, I just, I don't know what my zones were doing. My hooks weren't playing anything. Next time I play him, I'm going to be using him in the middle of the field. But, um, you know, it's played to my advantage right now. We got the ball maybe last if we want to, you know, clock it out. Just depending on how we play it. But, you know, from here, we're obviously still trying to get a stop. Uh, right here, played good defense, but, you know, no blitz came in. And he had the left side wide open. 
So yeah, like I said, man, the him running the ball definitely affected me, you know, setting up the blitz, getting in my hover spots, all that good stuff. Um, I definitely could have still tried to blitz, but you know, I just wasn't feeling it right there. Bo knows, look at him, breaking tackles, open on angle routes. That's how you know Bo Jackson is OP, because this dude has never been like the type of dude to be catching those type of passes or beating man coverage like that. And, you know, I don't know if it's the game or not, but, you know, he is wide open. It's right here. Boom, Bo knows again. And, you know, in my experience versus Bo knows, it wasn't nothing too crazy OP. Um, I didn't play too much against it, I should say. Unlike some of y'all, maybe just played over and over again against it. But, you know, it is what it is. It's right here once more. Another baby in to Jared Cook. That right there was just a good read. Really thought my zone would play it, and it didn't. Right here once more. Motioning across. We have a couple zones. Um, boom, another baby in. Death by a thousand cuts at the moment. Baby in, baby in, baby in. Um, I'm not like bashing him or anything, but you know, I just couldn't stop the sh underneath stuff because I was too focused on the deep stuff. And he hadn't even hit us once over the top, so I don't know why my user was kind of like that. It's right here. Uh, counter, great call. Bo knows, breaks the first tackle, ends up still tackling him. And what do you guys feel about Bonos being too AP? Um, I feel like that's a good amount. You know, you're not wasting all your AP. Um, but you're not, you know, you have to spend AP to, uh, you know, use the ability. Because it is pretty OP. I'm happy that it was banned for the tournament. Um, it would have been chaotic in the tournament. But right here, once more, Bonos. And we actually hold them to no, you know, we've been playing great run D. Look at that. 12 rushes, 30 yards. We've been playing phenomenal run D. But uh, like Bo knows right here, it's perfect. Like for the red zone and maybe inside the 10, maybe inside the 5. Big third and six right here for him to convert. We go in the cover four. Look, we send two once more. As right here, good defense, good defense. Backside post once again. And I'm not going to lie, guys. Look at this whole left side. Open. Kind of open. I was running to the left. Maybe even Bo was open. And he, his eyes were locked on the middle of the field still. Right here, guys. Trying to make this last drive. This is something i got to get better at doing. Um, we may have had that post. I definitely should have just chucked it. But I didn't want to risk it. Why risk it, man, when we could easily convert these next two downs? It's right here, guys. We run this nice little play. Um, this is a play I've been spamming a lot. It's this, um, I forgot what it's called, PA go slot cross out of the gun tight Y off. Um, if you want to check out a form I've been running a lot on the low, it's this right here. Uh, and, you know, maybe if I perfect this, I might drop an ebook on, you know, this and a couple bunch plays. Let me know if you'd be down for that. But this formation right here, man, I really do enjoy it. It has a great inside zone. Um, pretty tough to stop in its own. It has that, that crosser play, which, you know, if you slap on some abilities, the route tech, Slotomatic, it's not going to be able to, you know, be guarded unless you, you know, make the perfect adjustments with zone drop and all that type of stuff. But I, like I said, I definitely got to perfect it more. There are more plays I could get, use and, you know, run out of it. But like I said, this is kind of like, I guess you could say my clocking form. Uh, as you see right here, once more running inside zone, cutting it back. And, you know, three inside zones, three positive amount of yards. And honestly, we just need like 10 yards. We need like a first or two right here and we win the game. This, this is looking real nice for us. He's right here. We have A open. Boom. Only bad side about that is we fall out of bounds. Um, that's something that hopefully gets fixed. Honestly, you can't even say get fixed because, you know, if I was crunching for time, that was the animation I'd want. So it's all relative, man. It's right here inside zone again. And wow, man. We would get all the way to like a second and two. Literally the perfect scenario. And I should just probably run again right here because he hasn't been able to stop it. And that's what we do. He ends up run committing. And, you know, great call by him. Probably could honestly run it again. But, you know, that run commit kind of made me feel a different type of way. Um, and we honestly could play for three right here, man. There's a lot we could do. But lo look at this play he makes, man. What a crazy play. Um, he user rushes. I have a wide open player. He user rushes and just wow. Great play, and why didn't I kick three right here? I'm trying to think to myself. I could easily kick three. I don't know if at this time and moment I had a, a Tucker or Prater. I believe I had Prater, but I still think he could make this. I mean, depending on wind and all that type of stuff, I'm not too sure. But, man, great sequence of events for him. A run commit followed by a user rush sack. 
very nice play and you know here we go man I, I really don't know why I'm going for this honestly I feel like I could easily play defense but uh he makes a great adjustment he puts him in a cloud when he's been running man all game Nate Hobbs takes it all the way to like the 50 yard line and now all he needs is like 10 yards and he wins a huge sellout by me um, and you know what's crazy too is I actually had him gone 25 and 0. But look at that zone baiting me. He ran with like the streak the whole way, and then at the last second, boop, I'm in a cloud flat. And that's how clouds kind of play, man. I believe that was a 20 probably. And you know what's crazy is I've actually hit people with the same adjustment, same play, uh, you know. And that's just how it is. Is right here, Bo knows. This is where Bo knows is kind of scary. He goes no huddle. I probably should have called a timeout like right here. I actually did. So, you know, that's actually just a great timing by me. And right here, man, I play probably the sloppiest, shittiest defense you could ever imagine. Um, and I'm not going to say, you know, if I well, had my user, I would play good defense because right here, I would have to make a choice. Um, if I have Cam, I'm definitely running to the right. And Bo would have been wide open for the angle route. But it is what it is. We sell out big time versus K. Harry. Could have easily gone 25-0, and 0, um, but we end up selling out. I have another gameplay from this weekend league, and, you know, after that, there'll be, you know, more recent gameplays. But, you know, GG's to K. Harry. He's going to knock this field goal down in a second. You see right here, it's impossible to miss against ice. I feel like people before definitely had trouble, but, you know, now with that focus kicker, even some people use clutch kicker, it's almost impossible um, and there it is, man. We end up taking an L. None of us played bad. It just came down to the fact that I sold huge. And this, honestly, right here kind of just had me messed up. We had the in route wide open. I know y'all seen that. I was really eyeing the right side. He played like, I don't even know what Hobbs was in. I could have maybe thrown that streak, but it just wasn't worth it. And plus, I didn't have time. You know, it all comes down to the fact that, you know, he just made a big time play and a big time moment to win himself the game. Um, Kind of just upset that Curtis Martin couldn't get out there in time. But, you know, it is what it is. I could have easily kicked three and prevented him winning the game in regulation. But a uh, great D once more in GG's Decay Harry. Make sure you go check him out. I'll put a couple of his links in the bio. GG's. Till next time, fellas. I got you with some more heat on the way.